Well, I spent the afternoon um, pricing things and sort of figuring out exactly what we needed with the, the rigging. And um, first thing that we figured out is it's a lot more expensive to replace all of this than we had initially, uh, or I had initially assumed. Um, you know, I, I saw people online who were saying that they replaced all their wire and you know, all their rigging for like $1,500 or something like that. What I now realize is that they must have been talking solely about the wire itself, not um, all the hardware that went along with it. Um, and so this is pretty much all of the hardware that we're talking about. And um, our initial thought was to just replace everything, but now that we've realized how expensive stuff is, we're, we're sort of taking a second look at, uh, at, at things. Um, and so, you know, these are all our mass tags right here, um, and we are going to keep all of them. They seem to be in pretty good shape. Uh, you know, that will certainly be something that will be on our list for the next time we take the mass down, that um, we'll be trying to replace them. Certainly taking a good look at them, if not replacing them. Um, this is our uh, mid um, shrouds, the turnbuckles for the mid shrouds. These are original from the boat. Um, we're not going to replace these because we're just going to get rid of them and instead put in running backstays uh, in that same location. Well, we're going to have to put a um, dead eye uh, at the you know farther back near the um, cockpit for when we're actually using the running backs. But otherwise, we, we can get rid of those. This is another uh, original set. This is for the um, aft uh, lower shrouds. Um, we'll definitely be replacing them, and then all of the other. All of the other turnbuckles um, we're going to take a look at. We might we're going to try to save as many of them as we can. We might have to replace some of the T's and, um, and some of the toggles uh, because I have noticed some problems with, with both of those uh, on a couple of them. Um, so we'll be looking through those, but we'll be looking to keep the turnbuckles and then hopefully, um, and then looking to replace them sooner rather than later. But obviously we can replace the turnbuckles without having to take down the mast. So that will be pretty easy. Um, yeah, so, you know, why are, I don't know, when, basically when we priced everything out, we were probably looking at about $4,000, uh, maybe a little bit over that, um, to replace everything. We're going to go with stay lock fittings, um, and, uh, and we just don't have the cash right now. Um, and so we, we've decided that we can, we can wait on a couple things, partly because we're not like crossing an ocean this summer. Uh, also because it doesn't look like we're going to get our new chain plates right now, so we're going to have some weak chain plates to begin with. Um, I guess that's not necessarily an argument for uh, sort of weak rigging altogether or, or questionable rigging altogether, but uh, we think we can get by through the season without, without a problem, um, just sort of coastal cruising and, and hopping offshore a couple times. Um, this is not, uh, not the decision that either of us wanted to make, but it, it certainly saves us, some, saves us some cash in the meantime, and then we can plan to replace all of these, you know, all the rest of it in the near term. Um, so that's where we're at. I'm going to hopefully make the order, I don't know, tomorrow. And, um, yeah.